Yo, what's up, baby? This is your boy Deontay the Bronze of Wilder, and you're listening to my guys at Three Point Conversion, baby. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just one of those plays that uh, I got the pass. He closed out. Um, I've been shooting that a lot, and you know, I just figured that I just drive it, and I I drove. Um, you know, took it in. Big play, obviously. You know, very emotional, and I think it really for our group. I think it really, you know, got us got us going even more at that point. For sure. Um, you know, our playoffs are emotional, they're intense. And, uh, uh, you know, that tonight things weren't going our way. Um, uh, they, they were hard there in the third for a while. And, um, you know, guys smart kept talking in the, in the huddles and, you know, just kind of kept telling us to stay with it. And, uh, definitely just a lot of emotions, you know, at that point. And, uh, and yeah, you know, that, that's, that's what that was. Uh, there's not much to say. I think that it's, it's kind of contagious. Everybody feels it. Um, you know, I feel like it, it motivates everyone um, when any of us have any, any of those type of plays. And, uh, and yeah, you know, at that point, we just, you know, just wanted to keep it going. Help, help. Oh, you, you sat here two nights ago and you looked really pissed off. How upset were you and how much did that motivate you to come back into this game and put that performance on that you did? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think we, you know, we all understood the importance of this game and we felt that at the end of game, you know, three, we were in a position to, to, to win the game and, and we didn't. And, um, uh, I was just really, you know, just locked in. I understood the moment, you know, what we needed to do as a group and, um, you know, just come out and, and, and really just did, did whatever it, t- it took um, tonight. It, it was one of those type of nights. Can you remember the last time you kind of showed that much emotion on the floor after a play? I don't know, Abby, what do you think? I don't even know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I, I'm really not sure. I mean, I, I I really don't know. I really don't remember. I usually just kind of just kind of go about my business, and I do get excited. But like, uh, you know, uh, I I guess you kind of pick your spots, your moments, and um, and this was an emotional game. Uh, um, okay, so Giannis dumping these stairs to you. Did you make out what he said to you? What is David Tech? You were kind of elated about that. You were, you thought it was justified. Can you take us through that? Yeah, I don't really know what he said to me, but the way he was looking at me and the way that he was going about it uh, really didn't sit well with me. And and at that point, I think just something switched uh, with me, um, and then in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, did you have this game against the Oz? It's a good question. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think uh, I, I don't know if I would have had that game, you know, but I mean, I, I'm not sure. I, I just know that uh, I'm just really, you know, grateful for this opportunity that I have, um, you know, and, and uh, all of this past summer preparing for the season uh, to be in this type of moment. Um, and then throughout the season, just consistently making sure that I, you know, that I, I did everything I had to do physically to stay, to stay healthy, feeling well. Um, and, and, and the team here has been unbelievable with me, uh, our, our performance staff, uh, really keeping me, uh, feeling really well. Um, so for me, I credit that, you know, that kind of work, I, I feel like this past summer, I understood that I needed to take it to even another level. Um, and, and we really it started with the summer and it just continued in season. And, and now these are the moments that, you know, that I want to be a part of, that I want to play. Is that from sitting at home last year? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's from sitting at home. That's from watching the playoffs. That's from, uh, you know, not knowing what my future was holding and, and, and really just hoping to have an opportunity um, uh, to be in, a, in, a, in, in this type of environment. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think, you know, Marcus was was instrumental for us. He just kept talking to us in the huddles, telling us to stay with it. Um, I, I was extremely proud of him. Um, he showed tonight what he's why he was the defensive player of the year. Um, just the number that he did and guarding Giannis, guarding Drew, just taking the challenge. He was on he was unreal. And I, I don't think probably people aren't talking about that enough, but he was just for me, that that was the game changer. Um, he he was he was unbelievable defensively. How are you feeling right now? Uh, well, you know, adrenaline and everything. You feel great. <laughs> you know, I feel I feel you know I feel fine, and uh, you know, just uh, can't wait to go home, rest up, and and uh, and just be back in Boston. Where are you finding that energy and? In the reserve, I mean, we thought Giannis was exhausted the second half of that fourth quarter. He doubled over. Um, yeah, I mean, just, you know, just uh, just pushing through it. Just, you know, just grinding and, you know, playoffs are hard. You know, they're tough and trying to find a way. Thanks, Al. All right, and questions for Jason? Uh, it was more about just making the right reads. Obviously, I was, you know, playing extremely well, shooting the ball well. Uh, so, you know, obviously look for him after the timeouts, but just throughout the course of that fourth quarter, uh, we were just kind of playing basketball. Uh, and, you know, the ball was just finding him, and he was making the right play, knocking down shots. You guys aren't going to stretch how much did they do this game sort of put you on? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, everybody played great in different stretches, and obviously Al carried us for a great, you know, part of that second half um, and just kind of ignited everybody else um, uh, to get it going. You felt like you guys found something to get yourself a little Uh I mean, you know, we felt like we didn't play that well. And despite all of that, we was only down seven, start the fourth, and that was the message. Um, you know, twelve minutes left, down seven. Figure it out. Uh, you know, we was tired a little bit, but that was the message. Go out there, get all you got, leave it all on the floor and um, you know, go play winning basketball. Um, I mean, like you said, I, I, I played terrible game three and we almost had a chance to win. And, uh, that was really the toughest part, you know, just knowing that. So I was just really eager to get back, um, and, and ready to play and, um, wh whether it was scoring or not, just coming out and just playing better on both ends of the floor and doing, you know, what I can to help us get a win. So I was just really eager to for the game to start, uh, you know, following game three. Uh, Marcus said Al is the best bet for this team or the best bet veteran he's had in his work with us. How do you decide to call that game start? Yeah, uh, you know, Al's been great for the team. Al's been great for me. Uh, 
you know, I've been fortunate enough to play with Al for three years. Um, and I remember, you know, coming in my, my rookie year and seeing Al Horford, right? I've been seeing him play my whole life. And it was great to see somebody um, take care of their body, you know, just be the ultimate professional, the ultimate teammate, um, just all about the right things, you know. Nobody can ever say anything bad about Al. And, you know, he's helped me a great deal um, in the three years that we've played together. Um, you know, and I'm, you know, very lucky and fortunate to, you know, be able to call Al a teammate. Uh, I mean, that was that was a hell of a play, you know. Uh, you know, especially anytime Al turned back the clock and, you know, looked like it was his old self, um, you know, one of those dunks, it, it gets everybody off the bench. Uh, and Al plays with so much passion. Um, and, you know, when Al is playing with passion like that, you know, everybody else has to follow. How different is it for two games that you were playing against? I mean, Al, he's a competitor. He wants it as bad as anybody. Uh, and, you know, he showed that the night, you know, how he responded, how we all responded, you know, in this, you know, tough game on the road and kind of, a, you know, we needed to win this game. Um, it shows the, the toughness of our team, I think, just how bad everybody wants it um, and how we're going to compete, you know, the whole 48 minutes. You started, you started two players uh, just I just knowing it's a long game, you know, um, knowing that I, I still had 12 minutes left to put my mark on this game and try to help us win. Uh, you know, I'm a big believer in good or bad, whatever just happened, you can't change it, right? Uh, even through the course of a game. You know, everybody talks about next play, next quarter. You know, I always believe the next shot going to go in. Uh, and just, you know, my teammates believe in me. Everybody want me to be aggressive. You know, they trust I'm going to make the right play. Um, and that's what I was just trying to do. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tied up now, best of three. Uh, and we knew that coming in at – you know, as you progress through the playoffs, it, it just gets tougher. And obviously, you know, with them being the defending champs, uh, you know, regardless of who's in or who's out, we know that they know what it takes. So, you know, they're not going to lay down or, or anything like that. Uh, so I'm excited to get back home. You know, excited to play in front of our fans on uh, Wednesday, get some rest and, you know, get back to it. Final question for Jason. It seemed like when uh... – when Giannis went out there in the fourth, that they get screwed as well. You know, you recognize an opportunity because you scored for eight points. Uh, yeah, you know, I think that plays a part. You know, I think in the playoffs, uh, down the stretch, it's kind of more just about matchups, um, time and score and possession, and, and finding your advantage. You know, obviously, you know, I'll, well, good of a job he does at protecting the rim. Um, and, and and even when Brook is still there, he's a great rim protector. Um, so it, it still might not be open, but driving and just trying to find open man and playing continuous basketball uh, and things like that. So I think that was the mindset of us in that in that fourth quarter. Thank you.